Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today we're talking about fading to black and why you're probably doing it wrong. First off, please excuse the voice. I've been sick the last couple of days and I haven't quite recovered yet, so I've got kind of a, a, a raspy voice. But let's talk about fading video. So what most people do is when they fade video, let's just go in here and I've got uh, two layers. I've got the background layer and then I have this text on top of it. And I want to fade this to black, and so I'm going to open up the opacity on both of these. So I just highlight both layers, hit T on the keyboard. I'm going to keyframe the opacity at 100. Let's go forward a few frames. Bring those down to zero. And that's fading to black, right? Well, not really. Because what happens is right here in the middle, let's zoom in real close, I can see the texture showing through because this has its own transparency and this has its own transparency as well. And they're fading to black separately, not together. So how do I fix this? There's three ways that I like to do, and it just depends on what you want to do. The first way is to just pre-compose both of those. So I can highlight these. Command Shift C will pre-compose. Give it a name. And then I can key from the opacity of this to fade that. And I don't have the issue where the texture is showing through the font like that. Let's undo that. The next way is to bring in a new black solid. So Command Y on the keyboard. Let's bring in a black solid, and then I'm going to change the opacity of the black solid from 0 to 100%. And so I'm fading a black solid on top of that. And then the last way is with an adjustment layer. So if I come to New, Adjustment Layer, and then I have to add an effect to this. So I come to the Distort, go down to Transform, and in the Transform is the opacity, and so I can keyframe the opacity of the adjustment layer transform effect. And so we can see right here in the middle, it doesn't have that same issue. So that is the proper way to do fades, three different ways with the adjustment layer and the transform effect, by pre-composing your whole thing, or by using a black solid and just fading that up. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.